Hello everyone. This video presents some notable historic events that happened on each day during the month of December. On December 1st, 1768, the Danish ship Friedensborg sank in a storm off the coast of Norway on her return trip from a death-filled delivery of slaves to St. Croix in the Caribbean. On December 1st, 1824, it was determined that the vote for the presidential election of 1824 did not have a winner. Andrew Jackson of Tennessee had the most popular votes and had won the most electoral votes, but a candidate needed to win 131 of the 261 available electoral votes in order to be elected president. On December 1, 1834, in accordance with the Slavery Abolition Act of 1833, slavery was abolished in the Cape Colony, now South Africa. On December 1, 1862, U.S. President Abraham Lincoln delivered a State of the Union speech in which he reaffirmed the need to abolish slavery as stated in his Emancipation Proclamation ten weeks prior. On December 1st, 1865, just after the end of the American Civil War, which ultimately resulted in the end of state-sanctioned slavery in the United States of America, Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina was established by Reverend H.M. Turner of the American Baptist Home Mission Society as the first primarily colored, the term used then for African Americans, university in the Southern U.S. On December 1st, 1913, Automaker and industrialist extraordinaire Henry Ford introduced the moving assembly line to the world of manufacturing. On December 1, 1955, Rosa Parks, the celebrated civil rights pioneer, triggered the Montgomery bus boycott in Alabama by refusing to sit in the back of the bus as decreed by segregation laws of the time. On December 1, 1958, a terrible fire roared through a Chicago parochial school called Our Lady of the Angels, ultimately resulting in the deaths of 92 children and three of the nuns on staff. On December 1, 1960, Paul McCartney and Pete Best of the Beatles were arrested in Hamburg, Germany for the arson of the grubby room they had been staying in at a theater. Finally, on December 1, 2017, the new feature film directed by and starring James Franco, the disaster artist, My Life in the Room, the greatest bad film ever made, premiered across the United States. December 2nd is a key date in French history. On December 2nd, 1804, at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, Napoleon Bonaparte shocked the world as he crowned himself Emperor of the French by taking the crown from the Pope and plopping it on his own head. The next year, on December 2, 1805, French troops under Napoleon defeated a joint Russo-Austrian force at the Battle of Austerlitz during the Napoleonic Wars. Less than 50 years later, on December 2, 1851, French President Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, Napoleon I's nephew and namesake, overthrew the Second Republic. Then on December 2, 1852, Louis Napoleon Bonaparte became Emperor of the French as Napoleon III. On December 2, 1982, medical history was made when Barney Clark, a retired dentist, received a Jarvik 7 artificial heart at the University of Utah, the first time an artificial heart was implanted as a permanent solution and not just a temporary spot holder until a viable heart for transplant could be found. On December 2, 1988, Benazir Bhutto was sworn in as the Prime Minister of Pakistan, thus becoming the first ever female head of state of an Islamic country. On December 2, 1993, Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar was shot through the ears and officially killed in Medellin by Colombian National Police, although his brothers claimed the death was a suicide. On December 2, 2015, an American married couple of Pakistani descent, one a citizen, the other a legal resident, named Syed Rizwan Farooq and Tashfeen Malik, 
ruined the Christmas party being held by employees of the Inland Regional Center, a not-for-profit organization that assists 33,000 people with developmental disabilities, as well as the families of those persons, in San Bernardino, California, by crashing the party with guns blazing, killing 14 people, and wounding another 22 victims. On December 2, 2017, we celebrate a National Mutt Day, that day when we acknowledge the union of purebred and non-purebred dogs that produce the most common type of canine of all, the humble but wonderful mutt. Finally, on December 2, 2019, if you had not already waited in line for an hour or more, or more likely was smart and ordered yours online long ago, you may not have been enjoying your wine, beer, cheese, candy, or even Hot Wheel car from your commercially purchased advent calendar. On December 3, 1775, the Alfred, a merchant ship purchased by the Continental Congress, was commissioned under Captain Dudley Sultanstall and became the first to fly what would become the American flag. On December 3, 1910, the Paris Motor Show was the stage for the public introduction of modern neon lighting, that ubiquitous and colorful signage we see everywhere from the local gas station to the local beverage store to the glittering streets of Las Vegas. On December 3, 1971, amid the background of the Bangladeshi War of Liberation, when East Pakistan was attempting to secede from West Pakistan, the military forces of Pakistan launched a preemptive assault against India, attacking airfields and military installations and triggering the Indo-Pakistani War, 13 days on the brink of a far larger disaster. On December 3, 1984, the terrible tragedy at Bhopal, India took place when a huge quantity of methyl isocyanate MIC escaped and exposed 500,000 people to this poison and other chemicals, over 2,200 of whom died immediately, and perhaps 16,000 more deaths over the ensuing weeks. On December 3, 1994, Sony Interactive Entertainment launched the original PlayStation in Japan. On December 3, 1997, a conference of countries of the world decided on conditions to draft a treaty banning the use of anti-personnel landmines. Finally, on December 3, 2005, Dick Rutan, record-breaking aviator, became the first man to pilot a rocket-powered airplane to deliver U.S. mail when he flew an x corps Aerospace EZ rocket from Mojave, California to California City, both cities in the county of Kern. On December 4, 1619, 38 British settlers landed from the ship Margaret out of Bristol, England, along the north shore of the James River in Virginia, in order to found a new town in the Virginia colony called Berkeley Hundred. 
on December 4th, 1791, the first edition of The Observer, the world's first Sunday newspaper, was published. On December 4th, 1829, the British Governor General, Lord William Bentinck, representative of the King of the United Kingdom in India, made a ruling that was vehemently opposed by local Indian people, presumably men, that made the traditional practice of sati, also known as sati, illegal. On December 4th, 1872, in the Atlantic Ocean west of the Iberian Peninsula, the American brigantine Mary Celeste was found by the British brigantine De Gratia sailing east without its crew toward the Mediterranean. On December 4th, 1956, Sun Records Studio in Memphis, Tennessee was the location of an impromptu jam session by four of the rising stars of the rock and roll era, Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, and Jerry Lee Lewis. On December 4th, 1969, the Chicago police took the war with the militant African-American extremists, the Black Panthers, right into the bedroom when they shot Fred Hampton, a high-ranking member of the Black Panther Party, BPP, to death while he was sleeping. On December 4th, 1977, Jean Bedal Bacasa crowned himself Emperor of the Central African Empire. On Tuesday, December 4th, 2018, science fiction psychological horror thriller film fans of John Carroll University had the chance to be among the first in Cleveland, Ohio, to see Escape Room at 7 p.m. at Cinemark in Valley View, Ohio. Finally, on December 4th, 2020, Sound of Metal was released on Amazon Prime Video. On December 5th, 63 BC, Roman politician and famed orator Cicero delivered the fourth of his famous Catiline orations to the Roman Senate, warning of a plot to overthrow the Roman government. On December 5th, 1847, Jefferson Finnis Davis of Mississippi was elected to the United States Senate. Davis went on to the notoriety of being the only president of the Confederate States of America, the leader of a movement that would see the United States torn apart. On December 5, 1933, history was made that would change the United States back forever. Well, you never know, so maybe not forever. In any event, this date was the day Prohibition ended in the United States, although its legacy lives on in HBO's Boardwalk Empire. On December 5, 1945, a flight of U.S. Navy TBM Avenger torpedo bombers flew into history, providing grist for the paranormal mill that the Bermuda Triangle became. On December 5, 1952, the people of London, England found out the hard way that smog is no joke. The noxious smoke at first believed to not be dangerous even penetrated buildings causing people respiratory distress. Londoners called the episode, which lasted until December 9th when the weather finally cleared, the Great Smog of 1952. On December 5th, 1955, the American Federation of Labor and the Congress of Industrial Organizations merged to form the AFL-CIO, the largest confederation of trade and labor unions in the world. On December 5th, 1964, Captain Roger Donlin, U.S. Army Special Forces, became the first Army Special Forces member ever and the first U.S. military person to earn a Medal of Honor in the Vietnam War. Finally, on December 5, 2014, the American Space Agency, NASA, successfully launched an Orion space capsule with a Delta IV heavy rocket supplying the lifting power. On December 6, 343, the man we have come to know as Santa Claus died at the age of 73 in Myra, part of the Roman Empire in what is now southwestern Turkey. On December 6, 1922, the Irish Free State was a state established as a dominion of the British Commonwealth of Nations. On December 6, 1952, 
Vladimir Nabokov finished his novel Lolita. On December 6, 1969, the Rolling Stones were performing at the Altamont Free Concert when the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club members contracted as security got into a fatal confrontation with a music fan. Just after 4 p.m. on December 6, 1989, an apparently mentally disturbed Mark Lapine went to the Université de Montréal and entered the École Polytechnique building armed with a Ruger Mini-14 carbine, a knife, and murder in his heart, fueled by a hatred for feminists. On December 6, 2016, Instagram introduced comment liking, which are similar to upvotes. On December 6, 2019, we reflected back on our marathon movie-watching experience of the previous night, namely the 209-minute-long epic blockbuster film The Irishman from Netflix, an historical crime film supposedly based on real events. Finally, on December 6, 2021, we took a look at those people in November of 2021 that either distinguished themselves with courage, intelligence, or otherwise something good, versus those that embarrass the human race with their lies, evil action, or stupidity. Most Americans know that on December 7, 1941, the Imperial Japanese Naval and Air Forces launched a massive and devastating aerial surprise attack against U.S. military forces on the Hawaiian island of Oahu, mainly attacking the Pearl Harbor Naval Base and the Hickam Field Air Base. The USA formally entered World War II following the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor by declaring war against Japan. On December 7, 1982, the state of Texas executed convicted murderer Charles Brooks Jr. by lethal injection, the first such execution in U.S. history. On December 7, 1999, A&M Records, Inc. filed a federal lawsuit against the music-sharing online giant Napster. Finally, on December 7, 2005, Former Cleveland Browns head coach Bud Carson, a lifetime heavy smoker, died of emphysema at the age of 75. On December 8, 395, later Yan, a Murong Jianbai state, during the period of 16 kingdoms in China, was defeated by one of its previous vassal states, Northern Wai at the Battle of Kene Slope. On December 8, 1854, Pope Pius IX issued his apostolic constitution, In Effabilis Deus, in which he established Catholic doctrine that the Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus, had been conceived without the original sin that every other human is born with. On this day in 1941, the USA formally entered World War II following the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor by declaring war against Japan. While the Pearl Harbor raid captures most of our historical attention, the Empire of Japan was up to plenty of other shenanigans on that same day, also December 8, 1941, for those areas west of the international dateline, kicking off a wider war intended to bring stability and wealth to the people of Japan in the face of European hegemony and colonialism. On December 8, 1980, John Lennon, the former Beatle and one of the most famous musicians of the 1960s and 1970s, was mercilessly gunned down, shot in the back on a New York sidewalk by a crazed former fan, thus joining the ranks of peace lovers who were not allowed to be left in peace, men such as Abraham Lincoln, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., and Robert F. Kennedy. On December 8, 2012, Dallas Cowboys defensive lineman Josh Brent was driving drunk at high speed with fellow Cowboy linebacker Jerry Brown as a passenger. On December 8, 2018, we took a look at some of the really nifty air-powered weapons available for adults and kids, usually called BB guns in a generic sort of way, but in these modern times, so much more than that name implies. Finally, and also on Saturday, December 8, 2018, computer-animated superhero film fans had their chance to be among the first in Cleveland, Ohio, to see Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse at 11 a.m. at Atlas Cinema's Eastgate, 
10 in Mayfield Heights, Ohio. On December 9th, 1872, PBS Pinchback became the first ever African-American governor of Louisiana, and in fact, the first ever African-American governor of any U.S. state. On December 9th, 1917, British forces under the command of Field Marshal Allenby captured the city of Jerusalem, then in the territory known as Palestine. On December 9th, 1935, the Downtown Athletic Club of New York City, now known simply as the Downtown Club, made their choice for the most outstanding college football player, naming Jay Bearwanger halfback for the University of Chicago as the winner of the Downtown Athletic Club Award, the prize later renamed the Heisman Trophy. On this date, December 9, 1946, the subsequent Nuremberg trials began with the doctor's trial, prosecuting doctors alleged to be involved in human experimentation. On December 9, 1965, citizens of Detroit and Eastern Michigan, Ohio and Western Pennsylvania, a total of six states plus Ontario, were treated to a fireball in the night sky, as mysterious then as it is now. On December 9, 1979, History was made when the World Health Organization, WHO, declared that the smallpox virus in nature had been made extinct. On December 9, 1996, Casino Niagara opened in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. On December 9, 2018, we took a minute to tell you about the latest blockbuster film based off of a Marvel Comics property, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse this time an animated feature film, although probably the best animation you have ever seen. Finally, on Wednesday, December 9th, 2020, STX Entertainment had a virtual screening of the new feature film Songbird at 7 p.m. Also on December 9th, 2020, we had the opportunity to review Songbird, scheduled for digital release on December 10th, 2020. On December 10th, 1541, Thomas Culpepper and Francis Derham were executed by King Henry VIII of England for having sexual affairs with the Queen, Catherine Howard, wife of Henry VIII. A really, really stupid decision on the part of the two guys that somehow thought having an affair with the young Queen was a good idea. On December 10th, 1906, President Theodore Teddy Roosevelt became the first American to earn a Nobel Prize when he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his mediation of the Russo-Japanese War. On this date, December 10, 1907, a long-running feud between the medical community and anti-vivisectionist activists boiled over into the worst of the riots and disturbances over the statue of a dog. On December 10th, 1936, King Edward VIII of the United Kingdom, Britain et al., signed the Instrument of Abdication, basically his resignation letter. On December 10th, 1941, Colin Purdy Kelly Jr. became the first in a long line of American heroes that flew the great Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress, a pairing of the greatest bomber of World War II and the greatest bomber pilots. Finally, on December 10th, 2013, Mary Barra became the first woman appointed head of an automobile company when she became CEO of General Motors Corporation. On December 11, 629, the Prophet of Allah and founder of the Muslim religion, Muhammad, led an army of 10,000 converts to Islam into Mecca and conquered the city with minimal casualties. On December 11, 1941, dictators Adolf Hitler of Germany and Benito Mussolini of Italy made an enormous blunder, perhaps one that cost them the Second World War when they declared war on the United States. On December 11, 1981, 
During a time of renewed tension in the Cold War, the United States was eager to help friendly countries resist communist rebellions, and the USSR was doing all they could to convert non-communist countries to Marxism. With this backdrop, the U.S. had been training anti-insurgency forces in El Salvador and helped form the first such unit there. Unfortunately, this day saw a bloody and wrongly applied use of that force when the village of El Mazote and the area suffered the massacre of about 900 innocent people. On December 11, 2005, racial tensions exploded into violence in the Sydney suburb of Cronulla, New South Wales, Australia, with rioting by white Australians against anyone they perceived to be of Lebanese descent. On December 11, 2012, an Alawite village in Syria, Akrab, was the scene of horrific tragedy as terrorist bombs went off and killed about 125 people and injured an additional 200. On December 11, 2017, New York City once again became the target of an Islamic radical terrorist, this time an immigrant from Bangladesh. Finally, and also on Monday, December 11, 2017, Fantasy drama fans had their chance to be among the first in Cleveland to see The Shape of Water at 7 p.m. at Cedarley Theater in Cleveland Heights, Ohio. On December 12, 884, the king of Western Francia, Carloman II, son of Louis the Stammerer, Louis II, died in a hunting accident. On this date, December 12, 1098, in what is now Syria, Crusaders massacred 20,000 Muslims and ate some of them. On December 12, 1862, the United States ship USS Cairo, an ironclad gunboat of the city class, was sunk in the Yazoo River by a remotely detonated Confederate torpedo, what naval mines were called back then. On December 12, 1937, the USS Panay, a gunboat afloat on the Yangtze River near the city of Nanking, now called Nanjing, was attacked by Japanese military aircraft and sunk with the loss of three American lives. On December 12, 1939, an all-too-familiar scenario developed when two British warships collided, resulting in the sinking of the smaller vessel, including considerable loss of life. On December 12, 1941, American forces were still reeling from the Japanese sneak attack on Pearl Harbor when Philippine-American pilot Jesus Villamor led a flight of Boeing P-26 P-shooter fighter planes against superior Japanese aircraft that were raiding Batanga Airfield. On December 12, 1967, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, an American comedy drama film produced and directed by Stanley Kramer and written by William Rose, was released in the United States of America. Finally, on December 12, 1985, the U.S. Army experienced one of its worst non-combat tragedies in its history when 236 soldiers of the 101st Airborne Division were killed in the crash of Aero Flight 1285. On December 13, 1294, Pope Celestine V, also known as Saint Celestine, resigned from the office of Pope of the Roman Catholic Church after only five months as Pope. On December 13, 1577, Francis Drake set out from Plymouth, England on his ship, the Golden Hind, on a voyage that would take the ship and crew around the world, the first circumnavigation of the globe by an English vessel. On December 13, 1937, the bloodlust of a number of Japanese soldiers reached unprecedented proportions when they massacred over 250,000 Chinese in Nanking. On December 13, 1945, Irma Ida Ilse Gresse, aged 22, was executed in accordance with her sentence of death for the crime of committing war crimes, crimes against humanity, for her service as a concentration camp guard at Ravensbrück and Auschwitz Nazi death camps during World War II. On December 13, 1971, the Supreme Court of the United States, SCOTUS, 
heard arguments in a lawsuit by Norma McCorvey, known as Jane Roe, for the purposes of the lawsuit against the Dallas County, Texas attorney, Henry Wade, in the landmark American court case about the subject of a woman's right to seek an abortion ending an unwanted pregnancy. On December 13th, 2017, our Jewish friends celebrated the Festival of Lights and the Feast of Dedication known better as Hanukkah. Finally, on December 13th, 2019, Friday the 13th for those that keep track of such things, we had the good fortune of the widespread release of the latest movie in the Jumanji franchise, Jumanji The Next Level. On December 14th, 835, Emperor Wen Zong of the Chinese Tang Dynasty was given the news that Sweet Dew had formed on a pomegranate tree outside a military headquarters, a sign of divine favor for the emperor. On December 14, 1836, a war between the states ended, but one you may not be familiar with. The so-called Toledo War, also known as the Michigan-Ohio War, ended when Michigan chose to give up its claim on the land called the Toledo Strip. On December 14, 1909, the last paving brick was laid at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in Indiana, giving the venue its iconic nickname, The Brickyard. On December 14, 1911, Roald Amundsen of Norway narrowly beat a doomed English expedition to win the race to the South Pole. On December 14, 1940, at the University of California at Berkeley, atomic scientists first isolated the element plutonium, a radioactive element with a designation of PU-238 on the atomic chart of the elements, also known as the periodic chart, element number 94 for those keeping track. On December 14, 1992, the war in Abkhazia took a sickening turn when a helicopter carrying refugees was shot down, killing 52 people, about half of which were innocent children. On December 14, 2012, in Shenpeng Village in the Henan Province, Chinese citizen Min Yangjun stabbed an 85-year-old lady in her own home with her own knife and then took the knife to the primary school next door and began stabbing children aged 6 to 11. Finally, on December 14, 2017, we took a moment to discuss the new feature film The Shape of Water, a science fiction Cold War-based movie that is hard to fit into a particular movie genre. On December 15, 1890, legendary Hunk Papa Lakota, a.k.a. Teton Sioux, leader and holy man Sitting Bull, was killed by Indian Agency police at Standing Rock Indian Reservation in the Grand River area of South Dakota. On December 15, 1956, Elvis Presley gave the last of 50 performances on Louisiana Hayride, a live Shreveport, Louisiana radio show. On December 15, 1967, the Mothman prophecy came true when the silver bridge over the Ohio River collapsed, tumbling cars into the cold water. On December 15, 1973, with a vote of 13 to 0, the American Psychiatric Association agreed to remove homosexuality from its list of psychiatric disorders. On December 15, 1978, U.S. President Jimmy Carter announced that the United States would no longer recognize the government of the Republic of China based on the island of Taiwan as the legitimate government of China and instead would recognize the Red Chinese government, the People's Republic of China. On December 15, 2006, the first F-35 Lightning II multi-purpose, multi-service fighter bomber made its first flight. Finally, on December 15, 2017, the blockbuster major motion picture Star Wars The Last Jedi, also known as Star Wars Episode VIII, premiered across the United States, having already premiered in the Los Angeles area on December 9th.
on December 16, 1497, Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama passed the Great Fish River in what is now South Africa on his voyage around the southern tip of Africa to reach India by sea, a previously not accomplished feat by European sailors. On December 16, 1773, Americans proved that they were not willing to be pushed around by a government that levied onerous taxes upon them, and this displeasure was expressed in the civil act of defiance known to us today as the Boston Tea Party. On December 16, 1838, one of the greatest defeats of a large military force by a much smaller force took place with incredibly lopsided results when the Boers, also known as Vortrekkers or Afrikaners of South Africa, fought the Zulu warriors at Blood River, also known as Nakome River, in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. On December 16, 1901, British artist and conservationist Beatrix Potter self-published the book that would launch her literary career, The Tale of Peter Rabbit, a book that would sell 45 million copies. Note, the number of copies sold and ranking among various best-selling lists vary by source. On December 16, 1938, world-famous dictator and villain Adolf Hitler directed his Nazi German Empire Reich to issue a new medal, one only for mothers of German ethnicity living within Germany or later within other areas incorporated into the Reich. On December 16, 1965, General William Westmoreland, the American commander in Vietnam, requested an additional 243,000 U.S. troops to go with the 184,300 U.S. military men already in South Vietnam. On December 16, 2013, we celebrated our 100th post on our website. Also on December 16, 2013, the Long Tone nominated the article for a popular creepypasta character titled The Rake Cryptid for deletion from Wikipedia. On Wednesday, December 16, 2020, film fans had a chance to view an advanced virtual screening of the American disaster film Greenland at 7 p.m. Finally, on Thursday, December 16, 2021, coming-of-age drama fans had their chance to be among the first in Cleveland, Ohio, to see The Tender Bar at 7 p.m. at Atlas Cinema's Eastgate 10 in Mayfield Heights, Ohio. On December 17, 497 B.C., the Romans celebrated their pagan holiday Saturnalia, a celebration honoring their god of agriculture and a bunch of other things with partying and sacrifice. On December 17, 1862, the stormy history of civil rights of the United States was once again shamefully marred when Major General Ulysses S. Grant, future president of the United States, issued his infamous General Order No. 11, which expelled all Jews from Tennessee, Kentucky, and Mississippi, the states in the military district he commanded. On December 17, 1969, the U.S. Air Force shut down Project Blue Book, its investigation of UFOs. On December 17, 1989, the Simpsons premiered on American television with their first episode, Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire. On December 17, 2003, the 100th anniversary of the first powered flight of a human-piloted aircraft flown by Orville Wright was marked by another aviation first, that being the first supersonic flight by a human-piloted aircraft that was built by a private company, when Spaceship One, piloted by Brian Binney, achieved Mach 1.2 in a rocket-powered test flight to a lofty altitude of 20.67 kilometers, almost 68,000 feet. On December 17, 2009, a large but largely rusted tub of a ship, the MV Danny F-2, sunk off the coast of Lebanon, taking with her 44 humans. Accounts vary with numbers of people from 39 to 47 rescued. And, as far as we can determine, a record amount of domestic animals. 
Finally, on December 17, 2017, Orthodox Christians celebrated the Feast of Daniel, a recognized prophet in Christianity, a recognized Nabi in Islam, saintly or righteous man. And although Judaism does not consider Daniel a prophet, it does accord him status as a legendary example of a pious and good man. On December 18, 1898, French race car driver Gaston de chasseloup le set the first recognized world record for land speed at an unimpressive 63.13 kilometers per hour, 39.25 miles per hour. On December 18, 1912, Charles Dawson announced the discovery of the prehistoric missing link between ape and man. On December 18, 1932, the first National Football League NFL championship football game ever was played between the Chicago Bears and the Portsmouth Spartans. On December 18, 1981, the Soviet Union put into flight the largest combat airplane ever made, the Tupolev Tu-160 Blackjack Heavy Bomber. On December 18, 1982, Hans Ulrich Rudel, arguably the greatest combat pilot in German military history, died of a stroke in Rosenheim, Bavaria, West Germany. Finally, on Monday, December 18th, 2017, science fiction dramedy fans had their chance to be among the first in Cleveland to see Downsizing at 7 p.m. at Cedarley Theater in Cleveland Heights, Ohio. On December 19, 1907, the Dar Mine disaster in Van Meter, Pennsylvania, Westmoreland County, killed a total of 239 miners, both men and boys. On December 19, 1912, U.S. President William H. Taft pardoned the skipper of the ill-fated cruise ship, the P.S. General Slocum, which had burned and sunk on June 15, 1904, costing over 1,000 people their lives. On December 19, 1941, in one of the most daring raids of World War II, Italian Navy divers snuck into Alexandria Harbor and heavily damaged two British battleships. On December 19, 1956, Dr. John Bodkins Adams was accused of murdering 160 or more of his patients. On December 19, 1961, the Armed Forces of India completed Operation Vijay, a land, sea, and air assault against the Portuguese enclaves on Indian soil in the Goa region. On December 19, 1974, Nelson Rockefeller was sworn in as Vice President of the United States, a job he was not elected to, to serve under President Gerald Ford, another guy not elected to the office he held, or even to the Vice Presidency before that. On December 19, 2016, another part of our democratic process took place when the 538 electors of the Electoral College voted in the official U.S. presidential election of 2016. Finally, on December 19, 2018, we took the opportunity to review the latest blockbuster DC Universe superhero film Aquaman, a major motion picture that opened across the United States on December 21, 2018. On December 20, 217 AD, Reigning Pope St. Zephyrinus died, replaced by Calixtus I as his successor. On December 20th, 1941, the American Volunteer Group, AVG, better known by its nickname, the Flying Tigers, engaged in its first round of air-to-air -air combat when its fighters encountered Japanese Sally Bombers. On December 20th, 1957, one of the most important flights in the history of passenger airlines took place when the Boeing 707 jetliner made its first flight. On December 20th, 1968, the killer, later known as the Zodiac Killer, shot and murdered two victims in Vallejo, California, the first confirmed victims of this still unidentified killer. On December 20th, 1987, 
the passenger ferry Donna Paz sank with twice as many drowned as the Titanic. On December 20th, 2009, actress and lovely young woman Brittany Murphy died from pneumonia. On December 20th, 2018, we took a look back at the 30-some movies we saw at the theaters, almost all of which were reviewed on our site. On Monday, December 20th, 2021, biographical sports drama fans had their chance to be among the first in Cleveland, Ohio, to see American Underdog at 7 p.m. at Cinemark at Valley View and XD in Valley View, Ohio. Finally, also on Monday, December 20th, 2021, science fiction action fans had their chance to be among the first in Cleveland, Ohio, to see The Matrix Resurrections at 7 p.m. at Atlas Cinema's Eastgate 10 in Mayfield Heights, Ohio. On December 21st, 1898, the chemical element radium, RA, was discovered by Pierre and Marie Curie, who had isolated it from uranium. On December 21st, 1936, the Nazi German concept of a Schnell bomber, fast bomber, that could outrun most fighter planes took to the air when the prototype Junkers Ju-88 made its first flight, achieving a remarkable, for the time, speed of 360 miles per hour. On December 21, 1965, the United Nations outlawed racism by passing the International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination. On December 21, 1970, one of the great naval fighter jets made its debut flight when an F-14 Tomcat first took to the air. On December 21, 1990, Clarence L. Kelly Johnson one of the greatest contributors to American military technology and perhaps the greatest airplane designer of all time passed away quietly in Burbank, California at the age of 80. On December 21st, 2012, people across the globe waited for the end of the world only to have the world not end yet. On December 21st, 2017, the American public awaited another hard-to-define movie when downsizing opened across the country the next day. Finally, on December 21st, 2018, at 5.23 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the northern half of the world experienced its annual winter solstice. So happy solstice, everybody. On December 22, 69 AD, the reigning Emperor of Rome, Vitellius, was captured and murdered on the Gamonian stairs in Rome, proving once again how dangerous it was to be a Roman emperor. On December 22, 1880, English writer George Eliot, author of such novels as Adam Bede and Silas Marner, died at the age of 61 of a throat infection and chronic kidney problems. On December 22nd, 1965, one more bit of personal freedom went the way of the passenger pigeon when a 70 mile per hour speed limit was set on all British rural roads. On December 22nd, 1984, the tables got turned on criminals when their victim, Bernard Goetz, shot them. Finally, on December 22nd, 2001, Richard Colvin Reed, aged 28, of London, England, attempted to destroy an airliner in flight on its way to Miami, Florida, by the use of explosives hidden in his shoe. On December 23, 962, Christian forces under Byzantine commander Nikephoros II Phokas stormed into the city of Aleppo in the Levant, earning the future Byzantine emperor the title Pale Death of the Saracens. On December 23, 1938, a commercial fisherman pulled in a coelocanth, a living fossil in his net off the coast of Africa, a creature believed to be extinct since the time of the dinosaurs. On December 23, 1972, the survivors of an airliner crash in the Andes Mountains were finally rescued after 73 days. 
Finally, on December 23, 1997, the Seinfeld television comedy show introduced us to Festivus, a new secular holiday to be celebrated during the winter season, avoiding the religious friction of Hanukkah versus Christmas versus Saturnalia versus winter solstice and the racially charged Kwanzaa. On December 24th, 1294, Pope Boniface VIII, born Benedetto Catani, was elected Pope of the Roman Catholic Church to replace the previous Pope, St. Celestine V, who had resigned to return to his humble monastic pre-papal life. On December 24th, 1800, the plot of the Rue saint Nicas, also known as the Machine Infernal Plot, failed to kill Napoleon Bonaparte, then the First Council of France, the de facto dictator of the French Republic. On December 24, 1865, six former Confederate veterans of the recently concluded U.S. Civil War formed the first known chapter of the Ku Klux Klan, an organization largely founded on the principles of white supremacy and violence against African Americans and those not in agreement with Klan beliefs. On December 24, 1914, over 100 years ago today, British and German soldiers facing each other across no man's land in the trenches of World War I confounded their superiors by leaving their trenches and walking out to meet and greet their enemies in the spirit of Christmas Brotherhood. On December 24, 1942, French patriots got their Christmas wish when Nazi collaborator and opportunist Admiral Francois Darlon was murdered by 20-year-old French monarchist Fernand de la Chapelle. On December 24, 1952, the British Handley Page Victor strategic bomber made its maiden flight. Finally, on December 24, 1980, a series of mysterious lights and aircraft were sighted in the area of Rendlesham Forest, Sussex, England, and allegedly covered up by British authorities. On December 25, A.D. 1, Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem in what is now Israel, or so the story goes. On December 25, 1826, cadets at the United States Military Academy at West Point cracked the annals of history with an eggnog riot. On December 25, 1868, much maligned and embattled President of the United States Andrew Johnson issued a blanket pardon for all Confederate veterans of the U.S. Civil War. On December 25, 1951, Civil rights activists Harry T. Moore and Harriet V. S. Moore were killed by a bomb explosion in their home in Sanford, Florida. On December 25, 1962, To Kill a Mockingbird, an American drama film directed by Robert Mulligan, opened in theaters. On December 25, 1977, English acting legend Charlie Chaplin died of a stroke at the age of 88. On December 25, 2009, one of the most bizarre terrorist plots to destroy an airliner and its passengers failed when Umar Farouk Abdul Mutalab was unable to get his bomb hidden in his underwear to explode. Finally, today on December 25th, people around the world celebrate the Christian holiday of Christmas, honoring the birth of Jesus Christ. Observed primarily on December 25th, Christmas is the most joyous time of the year, a special time full of cheer and love. On December 26, 1871, the famous opera writing duo of Gilbert and Sullivan collaborated on Thespis, the first of many operas the much-beloved pair worked together on. On December 26, 1919, the owner of the Boston Red Sox gave the owner of the New York Yankees probably the greatest Christmas gift in history when he sold Babe Ruth, the greatest baseball player of all time, to him. On December 26, 1982, 
Time Magazine broke with tradition and for the first time ever named a non-human as its Man of the Year, MOI, when they named the personal computer the cover model of its iconic issue. On December 26, 1986, a new National Day was declared in honor of the most serious of the whiners in this fair land. Finally, on December 26, 2004, former NFL defensive end and perennial All-Pro Reggie White was rushed to the hospital where he died from cardiac arrhythmia. On December 27, 1512, the King and Queen of Spain issued the Laws of Burgos, a set of rules for how Spaniards were to treat Native Americans in the Caribbean islands colonized by Spain. On December 27, 1922, the Imperial Japanese Navy commissioned the first aircraft carrier in the world that was designed and built as an aircraft carrier, the Hosho. On December 27, 1929, Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin signed an order to eliminate the Kulaks as a class, resulting in a sort of genocide. On December 27, 1964, the Cleveland Browns won the NFL championship by itself, not that earth-shattering, but it marked the end of an era. On December 27, 1966, the largest cave in the world was discovered in Equismon, San Luis Potosi, Mexico. On December 27, 2001, the People's Republic of China, aka Red China, or just plain old China, was granted status as permanent normal trade relations with the United States, a label formerly known as Most Favored Nation Status. Finally, on December 27, 2017, we stood on the brink of a new year, giving us cause to look back on the year that was finishing. On December 28, 1503, the exiled Grand Maestro of Florence, Piero de Lorenzo de' Medici, known as Piero the Unfortunate, drowned in the Garigliano River while trying to escape the advancing French and Spanish armies that had just defeated the Italians in a battle over the control of Naples. On December 28, 1795, construction began on Young Street in York, Upper Canada, modern-day Toronto. On December 28, 1895, the world of medicine and airport security were forever changed when William Rentgen published his paper describing the production of X-rays. On December 28, 1918, Constance Markovic, while an inmate in Holloway Prison, London, England, made history as the first woman elected to the British House of Commons as a member of Parliament MP. On December 28, 1943, the Soviet secret police, NKVD, under the direction of its commander, Lavrenti Beria, began a three-day operation called Operation Elysi to forcibly remove 93,139 people of the Kalmyk nationality to force labor camps in the remote areas of Siberia. On December 28, 1958, the Baltimore Colts played the New York Giants at Yankee Stadium in New York City for the National Football League Championship game, the first game in NFL history to be played to sudden death overtime. Finally, on December 28, 1999, Western actor action hero Clayton Moore died. On December 29th, Catholics and Lutherans celebrate the Feast Day of David, a man from the Bible perhaps most famous for slaying the giant Goliath. On December 29th, 1860, the first British ocean-going ironclad warship, the HMS Warrior, was launched, but she was not the first such ship in world history. On December 29, 1890, the 7th Cavalry Regiment of the United States Army perpetrated a massacre of about 200 Native Americans of the Lakota people near Wounded Knee Creek in South Dakota. 
On December 29, 1916, Grigory Rasputin, possibly the most cracked clergyman of all time, finally met his doom, having been poisoned, shot, and drowned, thereby rivaling Blackbeard for the claim of bearded badass who most went out like a boss. On December 29, 1939, the consolidated B-24 Liberator heavy bomber made its first flight. On December 29, 1997, the frightening specter of avian influenza crossing over the species barrier to affect humans necessitated the killing of about 1.25 million chickens on the island of Hong Kong, accounting for every chicken on the island. Finally, on December 29, 2015, Ryzen Fighting World Grand Prix Saraba No N was a mixed martial arts event held by Ryzen Fighting Federation at the Saitama Super Arena. On December 30th, 1813, during the War of 1812, Arson happy British troops set the small city of Buffalo, New York ablaze as a means of punishing the upstart Americans. On December 30, 1970, former heavyweight boxing champion Charles L. Sonny Liston lay dead on the bedroom floor of his Las Vegas home. On December 30, 1977, serial killer Ted Bundy escaped from jail and went on to continue his killing spree. On December 30, 1999, 56-year-old former Beatle George Harrison was attacked in his own home by a stranger, later identified as Michael Abram, age 36. On December 30, 2006, former dictator of Iraq Saddam Hussein was hanged in a gruesome execution that nearly severed his head from his body. Finally, on December 30, 2018, we at History and Headlines took a moment to remember some of the notable people that died that year. On December 31st, 192 AD, Roman Emperor Commodus was assassinated by his own inner circle, setting the stage for the year of the five emperors in 193. On December 31, 1695, a tax on windows went into effect in England, which resulted in many people boarding up or bricking up their windows so that they would not be subject to the tax. On December 31, 1759, Arthur Guinness contracted for a lease on four acres of land in Dublin, Ireland, where he promptly commenced brewing Guinness Dry Stout Beer, a now world-famous brew. On December 31, 1771, a future president of the United States of America and an avid card player named George Washington visited Alexandria, Virginia, where he purchased two new packs of cards at a cost of two shillings and played cards at night. He lost. On December 31, 1853, one of the strangest dinner parties held to that point in history occurred when the Crystal Palace Park of London was host to a dinner inside the mold of an extinct dinosaur. On December 31, 1993, transgender person Brandon Tina was raped and murdered, this tragedy being the inspiration for the 1999 major motion picture Boys Don't Cry, starring Hilary Swank. On December 31st, 2015, Ryzen Fighting World Grand Prix Isa No Mai was a mixed martial arts event held by Ryzen Fighting Federation at the Saitama Super Arena. On December 31st, 2018, History and Headlines took a look at one of the most popular New Year's resolutions that Americans claim to be dedicated to, at least as tallied by Google searches. On New Year's Eve of 2019, we looked back on some of the best videos published by various history-themed YouTube channels from 2019. On New Year's Eve of 2020, we again looked back on some of the best videos published by various history-themed YouTube channels, this time from 2020. Finally, on December 31st, raising up your glasses for a toast happens with a sparkling glass of chilled champagne. As a question for my students and subscribers, which historic event that happened in December would you like to learn more about? 
please let me know in the comments section below this video. To learn more about each of the events mentioned in today's video, please visit the calendar on our website. If you liked this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated.